time for discussion volume nine part two console wars without any further let's keep the conversation going i'm going to talk about the numbers worldwide the wii is leading 50.39 million units as of march 31st of this year xbox 360 28 million as of new year's day of this year in the ps3 21.3 million as of december 31st of last year canada 1 million 60 thousand for for the wii 360 870 thousand the ps3 520 thousand japan ain't no shock there now for the wii 7 million 526 thousand eight hundred twenty one PS3 two million six hundred sixty four thousand three hundred sixty six and Xbox 360 well <clears throat> that's an inferior for the, in that country eight hundred and sixty six thousand one hundred and sixty seven as of 2009 Nintendo Wii dominates the, f the sales figures in Japan in United Kingdom the Wii with point four point nine million three sixty three point two million and the PS3 1.9 million and as for the United States the Wii 13.4 million the Xbox 360 11.6 million and the PS3 5.7 million so and they have the Nintendo DS and the PSP seems to me that um, I like the DS a little bit more a lot more than the PSP even though I haven't pl I played PSP I, I like it but I feel that the DS offers more games than the PSP and PSP you get to go online for free Wi-Fi network free online ser systems and so forth but the problem is it just it, it relies solely on God of War Chains of Olympias, Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max, uh, what else? Yeah, God of War Chain Olympias, Dark Stalkers, SOCOM, and probably a few, few more games. And where Nintendo DS, you got a boatload of them. And they got Nintendo DSi, which I think. I don't like it anyway. It doesn't have the Game Boy Advance port. So what's the point of buying that where you can get Nintendo DS Lite? You understand? Now, the Nintendo Wii, I like the controls, but I feel that that all games, all Nintendo Wii games should do should follow like Sonic Unleashed have the classic control, you know, classic controller um, GameCube controller and still keep the the Wii mode with nunchuck. The Wii the Wii mode with nunchuck is unique, different, and and pretty cool. Even though it could be gimmick at times. So yeah, you will get tired quickly by playing it with it. For the I played Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. By the way, I bought it last Sunday at a flea market for 20 bucks so that's probably the best deal right there I'm at mission 2 <clears throat> now I'm fighting the second boss battle I'm sitting there shooting at the monster shooting as fast as I can to end the battle real quickly and, and it didn't work like that <laughs> my hands started to get tired not just my hands my fingers starting to hurt a bit at one point, I dropped the uh, Wii mode. So, yeah, I mean that its downfall is the 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 Wii mode with nunchuck can be gimmick at times. So, my whole conclusion in the entire Nintendo Wii, since I already talked all about that on part one. It's not a bad console at all, but the problem is, where's the games? I mean, anytime 65% of probably is going to go up, where 
it's getting in when it's scoring 50 out of 100 or worse you got a problem you got a serious problem so Nintendo have a nice cold hard glass of start making some games or get out or get out of the competition or well, other words if you can't stand the heat get out of the kitchen understand now the PS3 each time I play that console even though I played the demo and the full games like Rainbow Six Vegas 2 and the Motor Storm I'm more impressed by it I mean when I play the control when I played the uh, P it was Rainbow Six Vegas 2 with the controller it was light it was lighter than a water bottle I couldn't believe it so it was fun I mean you get to go online for free <clears throat> Microsoft I am looking right at you and and plus it's still the best multi-platform console on the market even though it's expensive the most expensive on the market and you got exclusive games like SoCon Confrontation, God of War 3, uh, Killzone 2, uh, Infamous and a few more exclusive games can be coming out as well I mean the only downside of the PS3 like I talked about on the on part one I'm gonna bring that back up a little bit again on part two is they got to cut that price tag but I don't see that happening they feel that if it ain't broke don't fix it you know the graphics between the 360 and the PS3 are to me they are identical different technology but at the end of the day they're they're the same so I mean the graphics graphics ain't gonna make or break me to decide if I should you know ditch 360 or buy the PS3 I'm not gonna get into that because it's immaterial at this point so my final say on the PS3 it's still a great console and it will dominate the console wars like they did in PS2 I don't know about no three years, but about five to ten years, I can see it happening. And you barely hear anything about the hardware failures. Is that one percent or something like that? Even though it's expensive, but to get, I mean to get it repaired, but still down to three sixty is the best exclusive. It has the best exclusive games on the market. You know, you have Ninja Gaiden 2, 2 Human, you know it, it's average to, to a fault. Uh, Gears of War 2, uh, what else? Ninja Blade, and all other exclusive games that I missed. Now, here's the problem with the 360 it also has problems with not just the red ring of death it has the e74 problems which is the online but they fixed that problem if um if you get it you will have a three-year warranty from Microsoft which is cool I don't mind at all but uh, it shouldn't happen I mean it still has higher f uh, hardware failures than the PS3 and the Wii combined and which is beyond ridiculous to a fault oh stop talking about the red ring of death it's, just, it's not an issue anymore yes it is when you got that when you got Microsoft still talking still brainwashing the fans saying well it's not a problem we're gonna fix it or refix it. it's no issue and it's still an issue guess what people are still gonna be angry they're going to be pissed off to a fault. You understand? Now, that's all I'm going to say about the Xbox 360. It's, it's the best exclusive games on the market, but the hardware sucks. 
it just sucks. And you still have to pay to play online, which is ridiculous. Hate that. I mean, we can't even talk about, you know, console wars without someone flipping out and start flaming the living crap out of somebody. Oh, the PS3 is better than the 360, or the 360 is better than the PS3. Shut the hell up right now, folks. All of them are great. Buy all three of them. Just live with it and be happy. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, what we learned today. 360, PS3, and the Wii have its own strengths and weaknesses. Go buy what you feel. Go buy you know whatever or go old, or better yet buy all three okay and with that this discussion is over have a nice day